Okay, question number 37 uh, gives us uh, uh, the following. It says, I'm sorry this is a little small, but it won't fit otherwise, I don't think. Let me see if I, what happens when I bump it up. Well, I guess it does fit. Yay! All right. The table gives us the area of several circle, circles of different radii. Which of the following graphs best represents the uh, data in the table? Well, look, this is the way that I would treat it. Now, notice that we have the radius, and the radius is going to go uh, from uh, 0, 0.0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 with a lot of regularity. That's going to reside then on the x-axis, and you can see that down below. This is the radius on each one of these graphs, and x is always the uh, horizontal line. That means that y, the area, is going to be our vertical line. So this is going to be y here, this will be y here, this will be y here, and this will be y here. What you need to do is just watch the numbers and what they're doing. Is this producing a, a straight line, a curve, or, or what's happening? Well, just look at the numbers first. It is going from 0 all the way up to 50. Notice that there's no way that D can be correct. This is not a rise and then some kind of a fall. It is not falling. So that means that D is automatically out. Now the next thing that we should do is figure out if this is some kind of a straight line or if it's curving upward or, or downward. We have to figure out what the trend is. So in order to do that, take a look at going from 0 to 3.14. Well, you go from 0 to 3.14. That was the amount of the increase. So I simply just subtracted 3.14 from 0. Well, let's do the same thing for the next one and, and see what is happening if that increase is steady and equal or if it's starting to taper off or it's continuing up. Well, just do this. I'm going to clear the last exercise out. Let me move this over just a, just a hair. Let's take 12.57 uh, minus 3.14 and see what we get. Well, we get this. We get 9.43. Notice that that trend is upward. It's not even. It is not an even transaction. In other words, it wasn't just 3.14 plus 3.14 to continue to give us a straight line. It is increasing at a rapid rate. So A has got to be out. Let's continue. Now, let's do the following. Let's take Clear this out. Let's take 28.31 minus 12.57 and see what that increase gives us. That gives us 15 point, bring that back up, 0.74. So again, the trend is upward with some regularity. Now look at this leap right here. Look at the leap from 28 to 50. There is no need to subtract. That is a substantial leap. There's no way then, look at B, there's no way that that line is going up and then starting to arc downward or, or plateau. The increase is only C. It starts out small and then there's a rapid, rapid rise. I mean, if we were to plot this out, let me try to move this up just a bit, you could see that you're going to go from a simple uh, increase of maybe 3.14 to 12, to 28, up into 50. That thing is really arcing this way. It's sort of skyrocketing. So hopefully that one was, uh, was clear to you. What I'm doing when I, I look at those numbers then is to try to find out if the amount of increase is steady or if it rises and then falls or if it continues to arc very sharply. And in this case, to me, it looks like it arcs sharply. Therefore, the number or the letter C is correct in that question. Well, I hope that that one made sense. If not, you know what to do. Send me an email. Next.